Today, we're flying from New York JFK down to Mexico City and lie flat business class on Mexico's top airline. Typically, this flight would cost over $1,400 one way for two people, but stick around to the end of the video where I'll explain how we book these seats for just $100. Welcome to Aeromexico Business Class with Sabina. <laughs> so we're headed to the gate now, and today I'm joined for the very first time by my girlfriend Sabina, and she's flying International Business Class for the very first time. So what would you say you're most excited for? To be horizontal on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> See you there. So welcome to Aeromexico Business Class, Class A Premier. Um, initial impressions is unfortunately there's a good amount of wear and tear that I can already see on my seat, but it is very comfortable. Privacy wise, I'm a big fan of these wings that you can see right here because it gives a good amount of privacy where others can't see you and you can't see other passengers while you're seated on the seats. The crew's been very friendly so far and just finished handing out the welcome drink, so I'm looking forward to the flight. Sabina, what are your first impressions? There's a lot of space. The pillow and blanket situation is very large and puffy, and there's a glass of champagne. <laughs> Starting off our seat tour, you'll find your blanket, pillow, and headphones pre-packaged on your seat. To slide out your tray table, there is a latch that you can click right underneath, flip it open for the dinner service, and flip it back and slide it back under when you're done. And here's a quick look at the footwell. Your large storage compartment has a power outlet, remote, and a USB port. And then you have a smaller storage space right next to it with a vanity mirror. There's a small magazine holder, and then you have a separate reading light aside from your overhead light. You can control your seat through a touchscreen panel. And then for your armrest, you can flip it open and you'll find a another storage compartment as well. The armrest you can lift up and down to various heights depending on your preference there. Once everyone was boarded, the safety video played and we were taxiing on the runway. Something I wasn't too big of a fan of was ads started playing on everyone's screens as we were ascending to cruising altitude, which I didn't really like. Your entertainment screen is both touchscreen or you can use the remote. Scrolling through, the movie selection was a bit limited, but they passed the Lord of the Rings check and scrolling through again, unfortunately, Aeromexico fails the Star Wars check. About one hour into the flight, the crew began the dinner service and started by handing out menus for everyone. We had the choices between a meat, chicken, vegetarian, and a seafood dish. Here's a look at my appetizer, and then Sabina chose the vegetarian option for all of her meals, so here's her appetizer. Overall, the starter was fine in my opinion, nothing too fancy. And then, of course, in typical fashion, Sabina asked for some of my cheese, so handed some to her. All right, three, two, one. What's my question? <laughs> <laughs> What's your impression of the appetizer so far? I have a lovely spread of fruit and cooked vegetables. And you gave me some of your cheese, which I'm very grateful for. <laughs> For my entree, I chose the ravioli dish, which came with a side salad, but unfortunately Sabina's entree wasn't as attractive and was just grilled vegetables and rice. Yeah. 
yeah, this is a this is a struggle here. <laughs> the biggest tip I can give on this flight is if you're a vegetarian, just order the vegetarian dish off the menu. Don't pre-order the veggie dish or let the crew know. Sabina's meals were essentially just fruits and unseasoned vegetables, which was not great. For dessert, I got a mango cheesecake, and unfortunately, they didn't give Sabina a choice for her dessert. I don't know, maybe I'm just a dessert guy, but that's probably the best thing on this flight so far. So maybe I'm just gonna do this every single video and say that the dessert was the best part of the entire meal. After the meal service was complete, it was finally time to try out the lie flat beds. So now that we have the bed set up, let's quickly do a bed review. So with the pillow, I would probably give it a 2.5 out of 5 on the fluff meter scale. Um, it is on the smaller side, so I'm not too pressed with it, and the fluff is okay as well. The blanket is great. Um, the blanket is a mix between both a comforter and a blanket, so it is on the thinner side, but it's incredibly soft. So I'm a big fan of the blanket more than I am so of the pillow itself. What would you say you're most excited for? To be horizontal on the plane. <laughs> I have made it to the desired horizontal position. <laughs> After a quick nap, it was time to check out the snacks in the galley, which was actually quite disappointing. If you look at pictures online, there's an entire alcohol bar with champagne and whiskey that you can serve yourself, and unfortunately none of that was available on this flight. First thing to note in our bathroom tour was that it was incredibly clean. Then you have a window so you can look out on, here's the baby training station. There wasn't anything super impressive with the amenities that were available, but you do have two mirrors, the one that I'm waving at right now, and then right behind you is also a full body mirror as well. As Mark would say, overall impressions are quite roomy. Like the pillow, like the blanket, like the TV screen. Not a huge movie selection. Food, okay on my end, better on your end. I do like all the little compartments. To confirm what Sabina said, my overall impressions are um, the flight itself was okay. Uh, the seats have a good amount of wear and tear on them. There's a lot of improvement that can be made there. The food had much to be desired. I wasn't super impressed with any of the meals or even the dessert, which I thought was best, was okay. The bedding was relatively comfortable. I think they could have done much better with the pillow situation. I wouldn't call this the best business class in the world, but I'd say it's overall a solid way to fly to Mexico City. If you'd like to visit Mexico and want to know the cheapest way to book flights using points and miles, I've created a separate video, which you can click right up here to get started. And it's a step-by-step -step guide. Thanks so much for watching this review. We'll see you guys in that video.